Well, one member of the Cuban Five was convicted for his role in the shootdown of two brothers to the rescue planes. And today, on the 19th anniversary of that tragedy, South Florida is remembering. CBS 4's Gary Nelson has our story. In Little Havana, grief and anger at a rally and march on the 19th anniversary of the shootdown of two Brothers to the Rescue airplanes over international waters by Cuban jet fighters. Brothers to the Rescue scoured the Florida Straits at a time when Cubans found at sea were brought to the United States. Cuba considered the brothers provocateurs. These were American citizens. One of them was a Vietnam veteran, and they were pulverized by a MiG, and they were in Cessnas. And this is, has brought so much pain. At FIU today, but for the gentle sound of a fountain, there was silence. A silent tribute from family and friends of these four men shot out of the sky nearly two decades ago. The Cubans saw them coming. The group had been infiltrated by spies. One Pablo Roque here, who fled the country the day before the shootdown. And a second spy caught and convicted of murder conspiracy. It's just as bad as the first day, and this year more than ever because of what happened on December 17th. On December 17th, President Obama secured the freedom of American Alan Gross from Cuba and returned three Cuban spies, among them the spy convicted of murder conspiracy in the Brothers to the Rescue Massacre. And today he's being decorated as a hero with the other four spies, it's extremely hard for us. It's doubly, you know, we're triply hard this year. But amid the heartache, parents held hands knowing these four died a noble death. It's comforting to know that our children uh, were doing good deeds, helping mankind. And so sadness and anger today on the anniversary of an infamous moment in history. Now, three uh, members of Congress from South Florida today sent this letter to Attorney General Eric Holder asking that he bring the general and the MiG pilots involved in the Brothers to the Rescue shootdown to justice. It is a largely uh, symbolic letter, of course, given that those folks are safely in Cuba and far from the reach of the U.S. judicial system. We're live at FIU, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you.